stuff. Still in heat. It's that time of year. Uh, hadn't been a whole lot of movement the last couple of days, but it's the time of year you just never know. It's fixing to sit on a ridge. Anchor's falling. Maybe somebody chases by. Maybe that hog steps up. all beaver pond and I'm not swimming out there in that beaver pond to go get a hog but my son has killed two the same within I don't know 20 minutes of each other we are overrun with hogs and used to we never had one that tells you how quick it can happen they're wearing these acorns out this drought's got them holding close to water James Sergeant Slaughter killed one Last week, so that's four hogs in less than a week, and there's still piles of them. I couldn't get to that hog, but I'm gonna go check out these two he shot. Getting the old hooty hoo so I don't get shot. Slayer, you shot twice. I did. Uh, pretty slow hunt, nothing really going on until I started hearing the hog squealing down in the little creek bottom. And that reed came? Yeah, but I couldn't see him because the reed came until I saw one little guy come out and he had brown, black patches or whatever. But then he dipped back in, I didn't see him again. And I didn't hear him either, so I thought he may have moved on. Then it was probably 10 minutes later. I started seeing him filter out, and it was him, and it was three other black ones. They were all about 50 to 100 pounds, smaller hogs. And then one of the black ones stepped out where I got a clean shot, so shot Good. him. The and one I shot was about the same, about 70 okay. to 100 pounds. Another three ran off, don't know where they ran off to. But then um, I was debating on whether to stay and deer hunt or just, you know, head back to the house or do something with the hog. But then um, I heard some heavy grunting, and there were two probably, and these were like 175 to 200, um, just two. But they were getting into, I think it was two boar hogs or whatever. But they were stepped behind me, and I didn't have a great shot, but the one gave me just enough to get a shot on him. So I shot, he ran off, 
I got down and looked for blood, and um, I mean, it, it dropped him, but he got back up and ran off. But I never did find where I shot him, so, but I'm sure he's dead. All right, well, let's go find the shot one and the other shot one. A little stouter than 70 pounds. I'd say a hundred. Yep. Yeah. Boar hog or sow? Boar. Well, we can't have all we wish, but. Yeah. Classic Tiny Woods Ruger. And you know what's crazy? Is that we had no hogs here for 50 years. That's right. And now we've killed four in the last. We've killed four in the last week, less than a week. Cole shot these two today. I shot one back there. I saw Hilcom, six. a.k.a. Sergeant Slaughter, shot one with his bow about four days ago. It's crazy. Hilcom shot one with his bow. Oh, Hilcom shot one with the bow. So the man, he's bloody. That's ten tonight that we saw. Yeah. Just, and that's just at this one spot, so. And I heard squealing and hollering down the creek there was another sounder of them fighting with the sow in heat no telling how many this is the 25th 26th 27th 28th hog that's been killed or trapped and caught on the place nuts i'm gonna kind of have this uh gun ready because i've been around big hogs that were shot before and yeah kind of need to be ready well it is the middle of the rut the hog rut uh, this boar was chasing another sow, got the big sow, uh, shot was back a little bit, we're going to give it a while, we're going to go ahead and deal with this other one, but does this make us the hog cartel instead of the whitetail cartel? I don't know, but I'm ready to start being the whitetail cartel again, that's all I can tell you. Sick of hogs, uh, everyone we see, going down. Well, Cole. Good job on taking this son of a gun out of the pool. Whew, we'll see you guys next time on the Whitetail Cartel. Hopefully with a 10-pointer, not a 300-pound hog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>